and welcome to this Apex SQL Doc demo introduction. Apex SQL Doc is a tool for documenting SQL Server databases, SQL Server Integration Services Packages, SQL Server Analysis Services Cubes, SQL Server Reporting Services Reports, Tableau Server Sites, and SharePoint Farms. Apex SQL Doc consists of three main components. A standalone Windows application used for manual documenting, selecting objects, and options for documenting and customizing documentation output. A console application with a command line interface, aka CLI, which allows users to run the documentation process automatically and unattended. A SQL Server Management Studio add-in that allows documenting directly from within SSMS. Documenting SQL Server Databases In order to start the documentation setup process, let's create a new project. Click on the Add Database button and select a SQL Server. Input the needed details and click OK. Once the connection is established, a list of available servers and databases will be shown separately in two sections. Let's select a database that we will use for documenting. At this point, the Server Objects tab will be unlocked in the Data Sources and Objects pane. Thanks to the Document Server Properties checkbox, the documentation of properties can be excluded or included with a single click. Using the Server Objects pane, it is simple to manage and filter object types needed in the documentation. Once the Server Object types are selected, you can select specific database objects and options, which will be included in the documentation. Clicking the Database Objects tab opens a list of all database object types. Just select the checkbox by the objects that need to be included in the documentation. Just like the server objects, the database objects can be filtered in much the same way, by enabling the Filter option. For the selected database object, its attributes will be shown in the Object Options section to the right, and the user can include or exclude any of the object options by selecting the appropriate checkbox. Clicking the Database Options tab will open additional documentation settings at the database level. In this tab, it is possible to choose which database settings or options need to be included in the documentation. These settings can be saved as personal defaults for later use. Some additional options are the Data Model Diagrams and Graphical Dependencies options. After the selection of database objects and settings is complete, the documentation can be created by clicking the Generate button in the Home tab. Documenting Database Snapshots To document a database snapshot, first, a snapshot needs to be created. To create a database snapshot in the GUI, click the Create Database Snapshot button in the main ribbon bar of Apex SQL Doc. Once the button is clicked, a new window will appear where the desired database needs to be selected in order to create a snapshot of it. Once the database has been chosen, click the Create button and the snapshot file will be created in a few moments, prompting you to choose Output Location where the snapshot will be stored. The database snapshot will be created within the default file name format seen here, specifying the database name and the exact date of the snapshot creation. To document database snapshots within Apex SQL Doc, click the Add Database Snapshot button to add previously created snapshots. Navigate to the Snapshot Files location and choose the desired snapshots for documentation. Once added, the snapshots will be displayed in the grid on the right in the Database Engine tab. After selecting the desired database snapshots, the documentation can be created by clicking the Generate button in the Home tab. Documenting Integration Services Packages The documentation of SQL Server Integration Services Packages is relatively simple and easy, like every process in Apex SQL Doc. To start the documentation process of Integration Services Packages, click on the Add button in the Integration Services tab under the Data Sources and Objects pane or click the Add Integration Services Package button. After that, select a data source where the wanted packages are located and connect to it. The documentation of Integration Services Packages can be performed from five different data sources. File System, Integration Services Package Store, SQL Server, 
Integration Services DB Catalog, or directly with package files from an Integration Services project file. Let's add some Integration Services packages from a SQL Server. Once connected to a server, the list of packages and connected servers will be shown separately. Note that the data source will be displayed in the server section to the left. Select the desired packages and let's move on to the next step. When you have added all desired packages, you must select them in order to proceed to the next step, which is selecting the package details needed for documentation. Those details can be found in the Package Details tab. When you have specified the required options and settings for the Integration Services documentation, click the Generate button to create the documentation. Apex SQL Doc automatically detects any changes made in the package folders. So, if there are new packages added, or there's been any change in the folder that is used for documentation, those files will be automatically detected and documented. Documenting Analysis Services Cube Databases Another feature in Apex SQL Doc is the documentation of SQL Server Analysis Services Databases. Apex SQL Doc offers the possibility of documenting both multidimensional and tabular databases with various included details. To begin the documentation of Analysis Services Databases, just click the Add Analysis Services Database button or select the Analysis Services tab and click the Add button. Input the name of the Analysis Services server and connect. When the connection is established, select the desired database and then go to the Model Details tab where you will see a list of both multidimensional and tabular database details. Select the desired Analysis Services details, depending on the type of database you selected for documenting, and when done, click the Generate button to create your Analysis Services documentation. Documenting Reporting Services Items With Apex SQL Doc, it is also possible to document SQL Server Reporting Services reports, shared data sets, shared data sources, and reporting services projects from the file system and web services both native and SharePoint. Note that all versions of reporting services since 2005 are supported. To document a reporting services report, select the Reporting Services tab and click the Add button, or just simply click the Add Reporting Services Item button on the Home tab. After that, choose a data source which you will use and navigate to the location of needed reporting services items. Once you've done that, you will get a list of connected items on the right, with details like the item type, so you can easily recognize the item when using it later, for example. When the selection of the reporting services objects is complete, start the documentation creation process with the already mentioned Generate button. Documenting Tableau Server Sites In addition to SQL Server-related data sources, Apex SQL Doc also supports documenting Tableau server sites from both editions, Tableau Server and Tableau Online. To document Tableau server sites, select the Tableau Server tab and click the Add button or click the Add Tableau Site button on the Home ribbon bar. After that, choose a Tableau Server edition where the Tableau sites are located. Input the required connection details and click OK. Once the connection is established, a list of available Tableau sites will be shown in the grid on the right. Let's select a Tableau site to use it for documenting. At this point, the Site Details tab will be unlocked in the Data Sources and Objects pane. Clicking the Site Details tab will open additional Tableau documentation settings. In this tab, it is possible to choose which Tableau server settings or options need to be included in the documentation. After the selection of Tableau server sites and settings is complete, the documentation can be created by clicking the Generate button in the Home tab. Documenting SharePoint Forms To create SharePoint Farm documentation, click on the Add SharePoint Farm button from the Actions section of the Home ribbon menu. The same can be achieved by selecting the SharePoint Farm tab in the Data Sources and Objects pane on the left side, and then click the Add button. Since only one SharePoint farm can be installed on a single machine, Apex SQL Doc automatically connects to a SharePoint farm. No authentication or connection credentials are required. 
Once all SharePoint farm objects and options are loaded, they are selected in the grid by default. To specify what information needs to be documented, simply select the SharePoint object label on the left grid and the corresponding options will appear in the right grid. After selecting the objects and options for documenting, click the Generate button in the Home tab. Customizing Documentation In addition to multiple data source documentation features, Apex SQL Doc offers the ability to customize the documentation with various documentation styles, custom text, and naming options. All of these custom options can be found under the Output Options pane. Apex SQL Doc also offers the creation of documentation in five different output formats, CHM, HTML, Doc, DocX, and PDF. Thanks for watching. For more information, please visit apexsql.com.